Hello. So, yes, I know, I look like crap. I have dark circles under my eyes, I haven't plucked my eyebrows in three weeks, my hair is still wet from my shower, and my face is very red and dry. But I wanted to make this video today, so you're gonna have to deal with it. Today I am doing unpopular vegan opinions. Um, some of these might not be unpopular, I don't really know. I just saw some YouTubers doing it, sounded fun, cool, whatever, so I wanted to try. Let's just get on into it. Okay, so question one, is buying secondhand leather okay? Um, short answer, yes. Ethically, I don't see anything wrong with that, but I do have kind of my own personal take on that. Like, I, I still have purses that are made from leather um, that I got before I went vegan. I haven't thrown them away, I am using them, but I also feel bad just because personally I feel when I'm wearing them like I'm promoting animal products as fashion and like I just don't feel that good about it like wearing an animal it just doesn't feel right to me even if it was secondhand leather I don't think I would ever go buy that now um, just not because it's ethically wrong but because I feel kind of uncomfortable wearing something like that okay question number two is do I think it's okay to test on animals for research <sighs> I have a hard time with this question. Now, I still don't like, like the fact that animals are tested on um, for medical reasons or like scientific research. And I know that it's kind of the cheapest option sometimes and it can save people's lives and it really helps sometimes. And I understand that that is the way we might have to continue doing it, but I do believe that there are definitely other ways around um, torturing animals. They may not be as cheap, you may need to put in more effort, but I also just don't like the fact of anything hurting animals. Like I personally would rather spend 10 times the amount of money on something to not hurt an animal than, you know, like have it be cheap and pay for it. But that's just me. Again, all these are just my opinions. Okay, the next thing is not really a question, it's more of just my explanation, I guess, of plant-based versus vegan. I hear these words being used interchangeably so much, and it irritates me. So plant-based is literally just not eating animal products. That is it. It is a diet specifically. It is just a way of eating. Veganism, on the other hand, is literally an animal rights movement. Um, it is you not contributing to animal cruelty in any way in your life. Um, so that's, of course, not eating animal products, but it is also not buying leather, buying cruelty-free makeup and like other beauty products and things. Um, it's not supporting, you know, going to like horse racing and stuff like that. Um, SeaWorld, all that kind of stuff. So the thing that annoys me, this is the only reason that those words being used interchangeably annoy me, is only because since being plant-based just means a diet, you know, on any diet you normally have cheat days, which is fine, but people that, people sometimes say that they're vegan, but they're actually just plant-based. They don't really you know, eat this way because of animals, they just eat this way because it's a diet to them. And they'll be like, oh, it's my cheat day, so let's have some chicken strips. And me seeing that, it's like, they're promoting that veganism is just a diet when it's so much more and it's literally an animal rights movement. And I just feel like it's weird to be vegan and then look at an animal product, look at literal dead flesh and think, oh, that's a treat, that's for my cheat day, like that just, disgusts me. So of course I completely support people that are plant-based. They are doing little damage to animals and to the environment. I just don't like, I guess, vegan activists that are actually plant-based because they're getting the whole message of veganism wrong. That's, yeah, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Whatever. Another question is, would I ever date somebody that's not vegan? So short answer, I am currently dating somebody that's not vegan. So yes but I think this is a very, very specific situation in where I would do this. It's very hard to explain. I feel like I'm just gonna go on a rant right now, but whatever. Guess I do that in every video, so. Okay, like, let me put it in perspective. If I was single right now, I would only go for vegans. 
that is because one it would be easier for me just because this is my whole life and also just thinking very long term when i have kids in the future i'm going to raise them vegan if my partner doesn't agree with that we are either not having kids or we're not going to be together so I know this sounds extreme, but that's that's the way I want my life to go. That is the only reason that if I was single right now, I would only go for people that are vegan. But then in my specific situation right now, so I'm dating this guy, his name's Cameron, and we've been like best friends for years and I know him so well. And it was just last year, like our feelings just grew for each other. And with, also I wanna make it very, very clear with what I said before, like if I was single, I'd want someone that's vegan. Like I am not at all saying that I, want to date anyone else but Cameron like he is perfect for me I love being with him I've never been in a happier and healthier relationship and there's I'm literally just talking about if we ever didn't work out that's all I'm talking about just want to make that very clear because I don't know I just yeah just want to make it clear but then I also think for this specific situation I'll kind of explain how he is and why I'm happy dating him uh, because he's just so open to everything. He has a very open mind. Like if he was against veganism, even in the slightest bit, we wouldn't work out. I would not want to be with someone like that. It'd be hard for me obviously to leave or something like that, but it, I couldn't be with someone that's against my entire moral life, like, you know? The thing that makes it okay is that he's so open to it. He's made so many changes already and he's willing to do more he's always willing to learn and the greatest thing like i love about him is he's so just logical and smart about things that he's not gonna just assume he's right about everything if i give him a fact and i give evidence and i'm like hey this is happening like and he'll be like oh that makes sense like if there's facts behind it and that kind of stuff so i think just the fact that he's very open to it and that it wouldn't conflict with like my future and long term and just pointing it out he is literally like 90 percent vegan like i don't even know the last time he ate meat like he eats very minimal dairy products and stuff and when he's around me um he very very rarely eats anything with animal products in it i feel like just with him specifically i am so in love with him and we are so happy and he treats me so well that like it doesn't i'm not gonna give that up just because he doesn't eat a certain way that i believe in and like his lifestyle is in a certain way i believe in um, when he is willing to change and willing to listen. I know that was a long explanation, but I felt, felt the need to say all that. Also, uh, I know I keep, I keep talking, I'm sorry, but I just, I feel like I need to put this there too. Another thing I wanna point out of like why I don't wanna date somebody that's vegan, like if I wasn't like with Cameron right now, is it just because it is hard for me to like sit across from someone at a restaurant and see cheese on their plate? Cause to me, I don't just see cheese. I literally think about how many animals had to die for that to be on someone's plate that they enjoy for five minutes and then don't think about it ever again. That makes me sad, you know? It's really hard, even with friends and other family members, it's hard sometimes. If I see that, I'm just like, oh my God, it really, really affects me sometimes. Um, so that's the only kind of thing about why I would, like why I would think it was easier to date someone vegan. So yeah. Finally, the end of that answer. Let's go on to something else. Okay, the next question is, will I buy or cook non-vegan items for other people, like friends and family and such? No. Um, when I first went vegan, I, I did do that because my thinking then was just, oh, well, they're gonna pay me back, so I'm not contributing to that animal product. They're paying me for it. But now, uh, yeah, that's... I don't feel comfortable doing that. I feel like there's not a huge explanation for that because I know it kind of doesn't make sense if someone is paying me back and if I wasn't getting it for them, they would end up going to the store and getting it themselves anyway. But I just feel like... I don't know. I just don't want, like, that in my cart. I don't want anyone to think I am eating that. Like, it... To me, it's embarrassing. Like. Again, I'm not trying to bash people. I'm not trying to say that like you're a bad person for eating animal products at all. I think that there's a lot of like learning to do and just we have to get out of the mindset of like what we've all kind of been taught from a very young age, which is hard to do. Um, so again, I'm not trying to like put people that eat animals underneath me or something at all. Um, I just think because of what I believe in, 
it's embarrassing for me personally to like have that in my cart when I'm at the grocery store or ask for that at a restaurant or something. Like I don't look at someone else buying meat and think that they're embarrassing or they're stupid at all. So I just wanted to point that out like that. I don't think that, but okay. Last question. Yes, we're finally there. Do I think that everyone can go vegan? This is the thing. I've said multiple times on like different social media accounts because I post on Twitter and Instagram about veganism and stuff that, oh, everyone can go vegan, there's no excuse, blah, blah, blah. Explaining now, what I mean by that is not every single person in the entire world can. Um, I do believe that there will be a day where that can happen and the more people that go vegan, the more other people that can because there will be more food available. That's a whole other story. But um, I do understand that there are people that live in food deserts where there's only a few kinds of food available and their only source of protein may be meat. Like, I get that. Um, or yeah, if you just live in a very, very extreme situation, it may not be completely possible for you. I do think there's changes everyone can make. I do think everyone can go plant-based a little bit more than they are now. I strongly believe that. And I do think that 99% of people can go vegan. They just don't want to. I'm literally just talking about like the 1% of people that are in such extreme situations where they legitimately cannot. Even there's places like in the United States that definitely are harder to go vegan than in SoCal where I'm from. I wouldn't say harder, but just less options are readily available, like right in front of your eyes. There's not a vegan restaurant completely, you know? You just have to look a little harder and try a little more sometimes. Um, but I still believe that in those places, there are tons of ways, very easy ways, very cheap ways you can be vegan. So no matter your income, um, no matter where you live, everyone can go vegan. And that's what I mean when I say everyone. I also want to point out, this kind of goes along with it, that there are certain medical issues that I've heard of like online and stuff where a person can't eat lots of things that vegans would probably eat as like their main sources of different vitamins and different proteins and um, that kind of stuff. In those situations too, you know, you might not be able to go vegan. So that's the end of this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you subscribed. Cool. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this or any of my other videos. And I will see you guys next time.